hi y'all signs and thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel please keep in mind my readings are general may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising as well as your venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you guys would like to book with me there is going to be a um email as well as a dm down in the comment section for you to get in contact with me as well as if you would like to donate my gofundme page for my birthday is going to be down there as well okay so aries being the first sign let's see what we have page of wands something new is coming in i'm going to say this is new although this can be something you know starting back up with someone from the past i get the energy of something new someone a bit more polished than your ex so this is new okay because your new person your old person would have been polished too if they didn't run you through all that muck right we have past life relationship oh it's a strong connection here okay eight of swords but you're stuck in your head about it why is high priestess okay so you, you're afraid to open up or speak up to this person that you like okay now this can be somebody who you've already you know had some type of romantic uh situation with but maybe not maybe not this could literally just be somebody who you just met this could have been somebody that you just met <laughs> And you don't know how to express your feelings to this person. Spirit is saying, ask your angels. Because Ten of Wands is getting hard for you to hold back from this person. Because I feel like you're thinking negatively. Like, what if it all goes downhill because of this? Or what if, what if, what if, what if? That's all I'm hearing. But Spirit is saying, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards, okay? So I'm telling you to put your pride aside and speak up on whatever it is that you want, okay? So, thank you, Taurus. We have six of staff, six of wands. We're getting some type of success, victory, attention, accolades, pats on the back um, for something. Okay, let's see what it is. An engagement. Wow, okay, so you're leveling up some type of commitment or you're getting any commitment, something that you were afraid or you were juggling the idea of whether or not you wanted to do, but I feel like you're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, King of Pentacles, you're ready to settle down. So you may literally getting be getting engaged to somebody or somebody is wanting to get engaged with you. If not, this is somebody coming into your life to try to level it up. And I feel like it may work, okay? Yeah, compromise. Spirit is saying you're you you are not the center of attention, so it's not all about you. You are gonna have to give some. This person's gonna have to give some. It's gonna have to be some type of a balance here, okay? the lovers could be a gemini but i do see a very strong connection coming in for the both of you spirit is saying pull yourself together okay get over yourself help some people give back do some good shit for humanity some of you guys are being a little bit of an asshole don't do that <laughs> just period don't be that person all right so gemini's we have i can't choose between you two uh-oh we have reconciliation. Someone from the past is going to be trying to return. Okay, Knight of Swords, they're coming in fast too. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nine of Swords, this is somebody you've been stressing about. Improving health. I feel like you need to get yourself checked out. I mean, I feel like you are improving already. So you may not have even went to the doctor, but you may have known something is wrong. Maybe you got a cold or maybe your stomach has been bothering you. Maybe you've been all fucked up, but Spirit is saying that's going to improve. Eight of Swords, but you have to get out of this mental prison that you're in. And if you think someone is lying to you, Gemini, they the fuck are. Period. All right. Thank you, Gemini. So, Cancer, we have Six of Pentacles. Okay, somebody is wanting equal give and take with you. Okay. Yeah, calling in your soulmate is somebody who you want. You've been asking for, you're going to get nine of wands. Now, why would you ask for a soulmate or ask for somebody to come in and love you if you're not ready? Nine of wands, you have your guard up. You don't know whether or not you want to let this person in, but you ask for them. The page of pentacles could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or somebody who is about their money. This person is trying to come in and offer you some type of stability, but it seems to me like you don't really want it. Ask others for help. Yeah, because you're confused now. Five of pentacles, you have abandonment issues. You're afraid of being left out in the cold. You're afraid somebody is not going to take care of your needs. You're afraid that somebody is not going to be there for you. Spirit is saying you got this feeling that you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. 
follow your intuition as it pertains to this i mean your intuition is usually good but your ego is usually big too so you need to deter the two too while you're there all right thank you leo we have eight of staffs in reverse so eight of wands in reverse why aren't you talking to the person that you want to speak to religious factors maybe because of ramadan maybe somebody is trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do if this is not about your girl dealing with ramadan this is somebody trying to fuck with your morals somebody trying to push um push you to do something that you don't want to do okay something that you wouldn't normally do something that you're not going to do for them either and that's why you're speaking you're not speaking to them knight of wands okay so we have a type of flighty playeristic energy going on here between you and this person now i don't know if this is you putting your foot down because you're not going to have this person playing with you or if this is this person putting their foot down because you're playing with them because leo you can play okay yeah somebody is holding back how they really feel so somebody is not as much of a player as they as you think they are or as they think you are because you have feelings here yeah recovery but i feel like you're getting over this it's like you're not gonna use my feelings against me yeah three of wands you may be turning your back looking for something new trying to fight off the vultures spirit is saying get the fuck out of your head and get in your heart it misses you maybe you may be going too hard against this person maybe you need to soften up a bit because this person does seem to have emotions for you even though they are a player or they're very flighty i feel like this person is just afraid they may be trying to get over something else before they can come to you all right so virgo your card is i have a family already i swear y'all can't get a fucking break okay let's see what's going on new love okay so there may be somebody new creeping into your life but be very careful because they have a family already i mean everybody has a family already but is this one personal for a pinnacle they may be holding back something from you and maybe this actual family the judgment card i feel like you're gonna have to make a decision about why this person is clinging on to something you are a brand new individual you should be fucking speaking up right they're not now, I don't know why they're not speaking up, but I also have a problem with the fact that they have a family already. It's popping up because it's showing me that you may be dealing with somebody who's either married or in a long-term commitment and not telling you. You may already be having an inkling about that spirit of saying, wait, don't jump in just yet. And she has a sword in her hand, so don't ask no questions. I feel like shit will unfold naturally to you, okay? Yeah, the hangman. I feel like you shouldn't make a move, bust a move towards this person. Don't have sex with them. Don't do nothing. I feel like you need to just wait because you're going to find out something about this person that they're not telling you. Spirit is saying, on the other hand, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. You guys have to focus on your... Um, I heard digestion. So some of you guys may be having a hard time with your stomachs and whatnot. Eat more fucking vegetables. That's why you're not pooping. All right, anyways, <laughs> uh, Libra, you have five of fucking wands. Who are y'all fighting with and why? Why is this fight here, spirit? Give your relationship a chance. Oh, you're trying to fight for a relationship, Libra. I feel like somebody here is moving on or you may be thinking about moving on because this individual, look, five of wands twice. It's just too much drama between the two of y'all, which is crazy because in some extent, to an extent, Libra's like drama, but this may be too much. It's like you start the drama, not this person. Y'all both are just like drama, drama full people. And then spirit is telling you to remain positive. Well, that's going to be kind of fucking hard right okay yeah four of swords i feel like you're gonna take a break that's how you're gonna remain positive from this person you're gonna get the fuck out of their energy spirit is saying it's not everyone else's fault it's yours you are a grown-ass adult stop blaming others for your shit so you may have um <laughs> you made this monster whether you believe it or not this is all you here okay so moving forward scorpio it says i have sex for money so some people somebody that you're dealing with whether it's you or the other person is using their body to you know get what they want you gotta use what you got to get what you want okay ebony's ebony <laughs> um there is somebody here who is having sex for money clearly i mean that doesn't mean that there's no emotions there but that means this is what you're here for you got the money and i showed up because you got the money that's the energy that i'm getting from this okay retreat so this could be somebody who you've been spending time with lately anyway all right this is somebody who you've been um mm, you haven't been spending time with this person what's going on here you may have retreated with somebody else so scorpio you didn't move on to somebody else 
but still have this person in your energy because the person who has sex for money or the person you were having sex with money from with i feel like you may have moved on from you're not dealing with this person you're trying to start something new with somewhere else or you're trying to put your energy elsewhere and leave this person on the back burner yeah, it could be an Aries here, but if not, this is somebody who's very bossy and controlling, somebody who wants shit their way. This is an individual who just feels like big man on campus. Like, you can't tell this motherfucker they're the leader of their pack. Whatever pack it is, they're the leader of it, right? Um, this person, it says you will have a peaceful resolution with this person, so I feel like you will be speaking to this person. Yeah, the death card. This is going to be the peaceful resolution. You both are going to come to an understanding that this cannot go on. We cannot do this anymore. This needs to change or this needs to stop. And I feel like for you, is this needs to stop. You already have somebody new in your energy. Spirit is saying don't fucking force it. I allow this shit to come to you. All right, Scorpio? So thank you. Sagittarius, we have I am a fucking psychopath. I have no conscience, okay? So if you were wondering what the fuck is wrong with that person, they're nuts. You have let your friends help you. It says ask and ask and accept support from others. We have the eight of pentacles needing to work on being more open with your friends or more open with people about what's going on in your situation. Okay? We have the nine of cups so that you could get happiness or wish fulfillment. So I'm speaking to a, a Sagittarius who does not like to talk about their business. Granted, I get it. I'm a Sagittarius rising and I don't like to tell motherfucking shit. But I'm also a Gemini. So then when I do feel comfortable telling the motherfucking shit, I tell them too much. Right? So this is you um, trying to open up after a period of being discerning about something that won't, that does make you happy. But you're not sure if it's right for you or not. Okay? Yeah, be assertive. Spirit is saying that whatever. I feel like you are going to have to step up. Now, this can be in regards to love, family, um, friends, whatever. Whatever is going on in your life right now that you're here for, you're going to have to be assertive about. Eight of Wands, communication. It's all about talking. Okay, so this could be somebody who you're not even in a relationship with. This can be your friend. This could be a love interest, but you guys don't have a title. Spirit is putting a title on it. This is your friend, okay? <laughs> um uh this person i feel like you're trying to work on a relationship with this person because this person makes you happy however spirit is telling you that you have to be more assertive you have to speak up for your yourself more you have to say more okay you got to be open to more all right now your card is detox spirit is saying drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out i kept feeling like friends was a part of this too so if you by far come to do all of this having a conversation about it because it, it makes you happy or assertive and it doesn't work then detox by detox unfriend drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out whatever does not work for you sagittarius release it period okay thank you capricorn we got pathological liar okay somebody is a fucking liar here it says Release your ex. The nigga's a liar. I mean, the person is a liar, okay? Justice, okay? This is the only way that you're going to get balance back in your li life is if you let this person go. Just period. Just to be honest with you. You're going to have to let this person go in order for you to have some type of balance. The star card. I feel like it's time for you to heal from a person, a liar, Okay? Yeah, within the next few months, I feel like it'll get better or you will completely clear your energy. Yeah, you'll get back to yourself. Queen of Wands here. You'll get back to being a smart, sexy, vibrant little thing that everybody want to touch, okay? You'll get back to that. But I feel like right now you have to heal from this because this may have been very heavy for you. Spirit is saying you are talented and fucking amazing. Use your powers. Use your voice for it says the world needs your power i'm sorry use your voice just don't use it for dumb shit period okay so now moving forward thank you aquarius we have i wanted to have a family with you so somebody wants to have a family with you but i feel like there are some issues going on right now stay optimistic about your love life it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay you may not be feeling all that great about your love life right now, but Spirit is saying stay positive, okay? This person does want you. Queen of Pentacles, they already look at you like a wife. Two of Wands, this person has a decision that they need to make, though. Get more information. You don't know about this other decision. You don't really know what's going on with this person. 
but i feel like you're trying to act as if you do or you are not believing that something is what it may be let's see king of cups could be in regard in, uh, in regards to a capricorn virgo i mean capricorn virgo or taurus it could be but the king of cups is a cancer pisces or scorpio so you need to get more information on this person i want to clarify so bad but i can't so your card is you tight ass loosen the fuck up control freaks don't get laid all right so this person may be pulling back their energy a bit much right now because they do have a decision to make and i feel like you are being a, a bit of a tight ass about it because you're like where the fuck does this other thing what is going on with you where did this change come from well you're gonna have to find out on the next episode of what the fuck is going on in aquarius's world all right aquarius thank you pisces your card says i am in love with someone else Ooh. all right so tell me more Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from a usual type and expectations. Yeah, we don't expect to be with somebody who's in love with somebody else, right? The tower card. Okay, something's going to blow up. Something's going to happen unexpectedly. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, mm, is this somebody finding out about a girlfriend? Don't stop. The Empress, yes. This is... Shit is about to go down as your job. Okay, so first let's talk about the fact that there is a woman here. All right. Um, there are two women here. There's the Queen of Pentacles and then there's the Empress. So I don't know which one may be you. I'm gonna say this Queen of Pentacles may be you. Um, you may be you may look really good to your, your love interest, right? They they see you as being somebody who has their shit together, you're very stable, you know, you look like you got it all together. But there's somebody here to them that's better this empress um would be the queen of all queens okay she is the fucking queen of pentacles she is the queen of uh wands she is the queen of swords she is the queen of cups she is all in one okay but i feel like your person can't choose between you two so they won't be stopping whatever if they're telling you about this other person and they're telling you like i'm gonna leave or i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna do they're not okay this person is going to continue to go back and forth between you two because they cannot choose all right they're in love with this other energy okay so, you know, Pisces, you got to do what you got to do. It's also saying shit is going down at your job. Either we reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Now, for those of you who do not have a job, this card would be primarily speaking of somebody who is going after some type of business adventure. If you do not do what you need to do, the fucking the truck is going to go past you. Whatever the winning truck is, it's going to skip past you because you're not getting on it and it doesn't wait for anyone. Okay, so take your blessings as they come. All right, for my entrepreneurs. Thank you, guys.